Do you find yourself as the host for tomorrow's Super Bowl party? Are you fresh out of ideas about what to make? Does that make you really sad and stressed out? <laughs> I don't even know what to make for tomorrow's Super Bowl party. And I hate football. <laughs> I hate it. Good afternoon. My name is Mara and I'm the creator of the Funky Spork Blog where I am here to show you easy peasy tasty delicious plant-based recipes for you and your family to enjoy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really delicious, easy, nutritious, and stupid simple recipe to wow your friends and the biggest opponents. I'm going to show you how to make strawberry salsa that'll blow your mind and make your taste buds dance. Stay tuned. So this strawberry salsa is gonna be, once again, so easy to make. And these are the ingredients. It only requires five ingredients. Yes, five. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you which ones they are. So you're gonna have some fresh cilantro over here. Make sure that you pick the leaves and the stems. One juicy lime. A few fresh green onion sprigs, two cloves of garlic, a delicious juicy fruity bowl of fresh strawberries. These ones are organic and local score. And last but not least, salt. So step one is to take your two garlic cloves and to coarsely chop them. I'm gonna show you a technique that my mother taught me when it comes to opening garlic. Right now these garlic cloves still have the skin on them. So I'm gonna show you a really easy, quick, clever way to get the skin off. You take your garlic cloves, and I have both of them here, and you take a knife, this one's pretty fairly flat, and you're gonna put it on top like this of the garlic clove. This is a really good way to get your oppression out. If you hate the team that's playing, pretend that you are about to pulverize them and just glue everywhere but you see this now the skin's gone and you just have the flesh so what you're gonna want to do next is just coarsely coarsely chop it up don't lose your mind about trying to finally mince it because that'll be revealed in a future step so your next step is going to be to take your green onion right now I have one two three four sprigs you can add more you can add, add less just depending on how you like green onion I really like it so this is a good amount for me so I'm gonna show you how to chop it and what works see this root here you're going to chop up to this point here um, I don't really know maybe like half a centimeter you're gonna chop this part off this root pro tip if you like to garden this is a really good root to hold on to and put back in the soil if not just compost it whatevs so anyway so this is what you're gonna do now just finally just coarsely chop your green onion. Continue to do this until you start to reach this really green grassy point. I would say up to this portion about maybe uh, about an inch up. This is what I like to do. You're just going to chop up to that point and as I said just coarsely chop. Don't worry about finely finely chopping them. Okay so I said this in the beginning during the ingredient list but you're going to take your cilantro over here. Make sure that it's fresh because there's no other flavor comparison. As I said, with the green onion, you can use as much cilantro as you want. I just have this little handful of sprigs. You can just um, pluck each of the leaves. You can do it at once. It shouldn't take but just about a minute or a minute and a half in so, and put them in a bowl. Right now, so far, I am adding everything to this trusty bowl right here. Okay, so I've got my delicious strawberries right here. Got my bowl. At this point, all we need to worry about is just chopping off the stem piece. You're gonna take this and you're gonna add it to the bowl and you're just gonna basically just coarsely chop off the stem. As I said, don't worry about finally chopping the strawberries. We're gonna get to that. So just be patient and chill. So for this portion here, I have chopped up the strawberries, cilantro, green onion, 
and garlic and I put it all here in this bowl. As I said, I didn't roughly chop it. I didn't tell you earlier before, but for this recipe, I have about two cups of strawberries, um, unchopped strawberries. So as I said, you can use a little bit more, a little bit less. This should feed about four of us, unless my fiance and I decide to devour this all in one sitting, which might happen. Okay, so now the next step here is to take this juicy bowl of salsa mixture and the fruit and everything and to get your trusty food processor and load it all inside. I already had my one lime sliced into two, so what I'm going to do now is just take both of the lime halves and just really squeeze it in to this mixture. Um, squeeze as much as you can out. Um, I really like lime, so I just decided just to use one. If you're crazy, you can use two limes, but that's not what I did. So the next step now is to take your salt. I would say sprinkle about um, a pinch of salt. If you really want a indicator, I would say maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon, no more than half a teaspoon of salt. I eyed this, um, so I might just taste it along the way. So at this point, you have everything in the food processor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pulse this a few times until it turns into like a kind of semi-chunky mixture. So let me do my thing. It's gonna get a little loud, so bear with me. This kitchen smells amazing. You can smell the cilantro. Everything just smells so fresh. I feel like I am in a Mexican kitchen right now. If you could join me, it just smells great, so. It just smells really good. Okay, so all of our hard work's done. It took about 10 five second pulses to get this beautiful, beautiful salsa. I'll put a picture on so you can see it. Um, I've got my beautiful, wonderful, handsome fiance, Jeremy, here next to me. He's gonna be my guinea pig. And we're gonna go ahead and try this salsa. Are you hungry, babe? Yes, I am. Do you have any final words for the camera? This looks pretty awesome. Okay, moment of truth. Zip. Drum roll! Oh. All right, ready? Mm. All right. Double dip. Double dip. <laughs> it's amazing, it's tangy. Strawberries are not too, too sweet. It's a perfect salsa, it has a lot of zest. If you wanna add street racha to yours, let me know how that goes. I might try that with my next variation, but until then, it's a really great dish to impress your friends for tomorrow's Super Bowl party or your next party. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and finish eating this salsa. If you wanna see more recipes, go to www.thefunkysport.com. Please be sure to click that subscribe button, and we will see you later. Bye!